beautiful friends happy May welcome back to my channel it's been an interesting couple of weeks month it's been an interesting year overall I hope you enjoyed the inner peace meditation that I posted last week as I've kind of alluded to on social media which I haven't really been on social media <laughs> very much lately but as I've alluded to on there I'm just not in a space of I haven't been in a space of content creation it's kind of been like my last priority I've really been focusing on my ancestral line and connecting with my Celtic ancestors and learning about those traditions and the lore and the history and you could see like I'm filming this during Beltane and I'm just like here we are this is me if you don't like it you can go you can go do something else <laughs> but anyways I have learned so much about Celtic history and I've started celebrating the Sabbaths in the Celtic Wheel of the Year. And so in the Northern Hemisphere, we are celebrating Beltane these first few days of May. And I know in the Southern Hemisphere, it's Samhain. I hope I'm saying that right. I believe that's the American pronunciation. I know the British pronunciation is a bit different. Still getting used to, to speaking all of these terms and the Sabbaths and whatnot. So this may end up becoming a series under the Inner Divine Alchemy playlist where I talk about the Sabbaths and what I've learned from communing with my ancestors and just researching, studying, reading. I have been like such a bookworm lately wanting to just know everything about the Sabbaths and all of that. So to celebrate, I am creating a sort of moon wreath and I found this idea on TikTok so I'm pretty sure she calls it a Beltane moon wreath. I'll leave the video or picture I can't remember which one I have but I'll <laughs> leave that here on the screen for you so you can see it but I just feel like it is such a perfect way to honor Beltane and I'm just feeling I've been feeling really crafty I've been wanting to bake I've been wanting to work with my hands and Beltane is a fire festival. It's all about fertility and love and pleasure and joy. And when this video goes live, it's actually my birthday. May 4th is my birthday. So it just, it, it felt, it felt appropriate. It felt aligned to post a video about Beltane and just starting this journey. I'm like, you gotta, you gotta start somewhere, right? With celebrating the Sabbath. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, it would help me out if you would interact on this video, either by giving it a thumbs up or leaving a comment down below. That'll just help me figure out if this is a series I want to continue doing in the future. So that was a rambly little introduction, wasn't it? I wanted to show you some of the supplies I got for this beautiful moon wreath in case it's something that you want to do. I got everything from Walmart and the Dollar Tree. So first things first, you will need a floor, what is this? A flora foam. It's like a foam, it's a foam board. And I got green because I'm making like a floral, um, earthy earth tones type wreath. I also did get a white one because I would like to make one for, that's more Halloween, like witchy, spooky with black flowers and deep purples, kind of like the wreath that I made last year. So I wanna have two of these, but obviously since it's Beltane and the earth, you know, I decided to go with green. So the shape actually looks like this. Already cut out so you can see it's a nice crescent moon. And that's just cut out of this guy. Got this at Walmart, I think it was like $7.97, so like $8. Um, but yeah, it's it's sturdy and I'm loving how this shape turned out. The next thing you'll need in terms of tools is a hot glue gun. So I picked up some extra hot glue gun sticks and it's somewhere around here, I don't know. But that is something you'll need because that's how you will be 
affixing the flowers and the moss and everything to your foam cutout. So this is the moss I got also from Walmart. This is forest moss and I believe this was six dollars I think and then reindeer moss and I think this one was maybe four ish dollars something like that. So I got these and then at the Dollar Tree they do have these little moss packets. So because I went there first, I picked up a lot of these in case Walmart didn't have it. So they had these and also at the Dollar Tree, they had Spanish moss. So you can see it's um, darker, it's like a brown color. And then this is where the Dollar Tree really comes in handy because if you do crafts on a regular basis, you know how much floral costs, like it is insane. So this, <laughs> Okay, okay. So this is the color scheme that I'm going, they had so many flowers at the Dollar Tree. And so all of these were a dollar. I think I spent $30 total at the Dollar Tree, which means I got 30 things and it's basically all moss and all flowers. So I got plenty of flowers and this is the color scheme I'm going for on my moon wreath. So you'll need a bunch of flowers Whatever color scheme you wanna do is totally up to you. The last thing you'll need are beads or crystals or just anything that you want to have hanging off of your moon wreath. So I'll do a pan across this so you can see it a little bit better and see what I picked up. But I got all of this at Walmart and I'm not gonna tilt it because then they're all going to fall out of place. But yeah, these are the beads. And you'll also need some chain as well as some copper wire. What else did I get here? And just the little hook and eye things if that makes sense i don't i don't know exactly what they're called i think they're just called hook and eye and that's it that's all you need to make this so i'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up in my office and start filming get some nice b-roll footage for you all and talk some more about beltane and what i've learned about this holiday this fire festival this Sabbath in case it's something you want to celebrate in the future or if you're just curious and you want to know more about it. Beltane is the beginning of the Celtic summer, the light season of the year. Like Samhain, it's a time when the veil between the worlds is thin, a time to communicate with spirits, particularly nature spirits. People would traditionally build fires at Beltane, then jump over the flames. Young, unmarried people would leap the bonfire and wish for a husband or wife. Young women would leap it to ensure their fertility, and couples would leap it to strengthen a bond. The best way to celebrate Beltane is by taking pleasure in life and by enjoying the gifts of nature and the goddess. Other ways you can celebrate include washing your face in dew at sunrise on Beltane for beauty in the coming year. Traditionally, you'd use the dew from a hawthorn tree, but dew from grass and flowers will do. If you live near water, you can make a garland or posy of spring flowers and cast it into a stream, lake, or river to bless the water spirits. You can also celebrate by plating and weaving straw, creating things with wicker, and making baskets and fabrics. These are all traditional arts for this turn in the Wheel of the Year. Some symbols for Beltane include fire. The bonfire or bale fire is one of Beltane's oldest traditions. You can light the fire and jump over it with your partner if you're looking to conceive. Women also sometimes wear ashes from the fire in a bag around their necks to aid fertility. Another Beltane symbol is the maypole. This time of year is all about fertility. The maypole represents the male and the ribbons that are danced and wrapped around it represent the female. Other symbols include eggs, red and orange crystals, red and white ribbons, red candles, and rose petals. In celebrating Beltane, you are heralding summer and you are celebrating the festival of fertility.
right, my friends, that is going to conclude this vlog. We're losing daylight. Now we have like this yellow situation going on. Fairy lights, you know. But I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me this weekend celebrating Beltane. I had a lot of fun. A couple of things I want to mention before I sign off. This week, May 6th, the Inner Divine Collective content for May is going live. If you don't know what the Inner Divine Collective is, it is my membership community for spiritual seekers. And the theme for May, very fittingly, is herbal alchemy, the all natural magic of plants, flowers, and herbs. So you can find that link in the description box below if you want to learn more and sign up. I would love to have you in that community. I also do live energy readings and updates every single week planetary transitions, astrological things, so that way you kind of know what to expect, what's going on. And I also pull an oracle card from my very own oracle card deck every single week for the reading, just as kind of like a, you know, a message for the week or guidance for the week. And that oracle card deck is actually open to order as a part of like a pre-order campaign. So the last one was in December 2020. It's available to collective members only. So if you are wanting to start on your spiritual journey, you are wanting to get your hands on the Inner Divine Alchemy Oracle card deck, make sure you sign up because that order campaign closes on May 14th. And last but not least, my metaphysical fiction book comes out next week on Tuesday, May 11th beyond the stars and shadows. So it's so crazy that this is another release and I'm pretty sure this is my 10th book. 10 books in six years, that is, that's bananas. <laughs> so I just wanna say thank you so much to those of you who have pre-ordered. That means the absolute world to me and I can't wait for that book to be in your hands. I hope that you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. So that's all I've got. I'm going to sign off here, but I will see you in my next video.